Okay, so when I was in high school, I really liked going on internet gossip sites. And on those sites, I saw a bunch of these men. These are all politicians, and they all had stories about their um, slip their sex scandals, their moral lacking. And I thought to myself, why, why are these guys always on the news sites? Why are they so awful people? And then I thought, well, let's look back in history. Is it just now that these moral looseness is coming up? And I looked back and I looked at some of former presidents. And some of you may not know, but Thomas, Thomas Jefferson also had an affair with one of his slaves. FDR had an affair. And John Kennedy obviously had a lot of affairs. <laughs> but I thought, well, how comes I had to research to get these guys and I could just see the other ones right on my screen? And it came about that it wasn't that people are now less moral, it's that the journalism is less moral. People weren't willing to go and investigate Thomas Jefferson's affair with his slave. It came out years after his death, and he's still remembered as the fo one of the founding fathers of our country. With FDR, he's looked at as one of our best presidents. He led us through the Great Depression and World War II, but his affair is less known, and people weren't willing to um, tarnish his name. And JFK, of course, we kind of know more about his affairs now because he's a little more modern, but at the time, he was really looked at as a great president, and it's just now coming out that he kind of had stuff on the side. So I thought, why? what started this lack of journalistic journalistic respect for our leaders. And I <coughs> sort of traced it down to the invention of the television and also 24-hour media. So in 1980, when CNN started up, and closely after when Fox News and MSNBC started up, it created this 24-hour media machine. This machine runs 24 hours, and they need to fill it with something every single hour so that viewers will be interested and will patronize their channel. And this started um, causing the journalists to not really look at the um, the policies and the really good upstanding things that these politicians were doing, but more at their personal lives. And they started to dig to get more stories to fill their airtime. This also really took, um, the journalism standards really fell again with tabloids. Seen here, you can see in the New York Post here, it's a story about one of these guys and what they did outside their marriage. And this really happens because these um, journalists, these magazines have to find something to fill their slots every single week. They have to find information that readers want so they can get um, more money, more readership, and also something that will just fill their pages. Um, something that totally blew up and totally affects our generation is the internet. These sites like TMZ and my fave, Press Hilton, um, have to find some news news to tell their audiences and it the internet makes it so much easier and quicker for people to get this and that makes just more of a hunger for this machine. Um, another thing that stems off from the internet is the social media. These sites like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, the politicians are on them and it makes it so much easier for them to have a slip up and for their stories to go public. Um, a lot of times Twitter is where these stories come out and this what runs from it. It puts the the figurehead and the public so much closer together there's the barrier is drawn down and so it makes it a lot easier for them to slip up and have their stories broadcast to the public and I asked myself so are these new standards coming about definite answer yes um, it makes it um, the easiness of the internet and the quickness of all of it makes it so much easier to dive into the personal lives of these people. It makes it a lot easier to get information and it makes it a lot easier to just dig into their lives. And so it's easier. People will do it more. They don't have to go behind the back and disrespect their president. They can just check their Twitter page or check their Facebook profile. And it also leads to these new lower standards have come about from a lack in fact checking. Um, fact checking is become really expensive because you have to pay people to do it. So certain news sites will just not fact check because it's so much easier to just post rumored stories. And this has led to a really dec declined quality in these um, publications. So all in all, I would argue that the moral standard of the, the figureheads themselves haven't declined but the moral standards of the magazines and the news shows and the social media has declined. And that's what's led to this uptick in unflattering stories in all of our public officials. Thank you.